Elon Musk has been the talk of the town for a few years. His exceptional achievement, despite the odds, has startled and amazed crowds of people. He is popularly known for founding SpaceX, while simultaneously managing the functioning of his other company, Tesla Motors. His astonishing performance in the field has led to comparisons with Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, and others. So in this video, we are going to discuss What did Elon Musk do before Tesla? The video is going to be amazing, make sure to stick till the end. Now before we get into this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment below saying I subscribed, I will try my best to reply to as many comments as possible. Elon Musk's success was well drafted by himself despite his difficult childhood. However, his relentless work ethic played a key role in the success story of Elon Musk. In this video, let us have a look into the early life, education, and the career timeline of Elon Musk. Elon Musk was born on the 28th of June in 1971. He was born in one of the three capital cities of South Africa called Pretoria. He is the oldest of three siblings. Elon Musk's father, Errol Musk, is a successful engineer while May Musk, his mother, was a model and a nutritionist. His brother, Kimball Musk, is an environmentalist and a venture capitalist. Elon's sister, Tosca Musk, is an award-winning director and producer. Elon started school about a year in advance. He attended the Waterkloof House Preparatory School. He then graduated from Pretoria Boys High School. By the time Elon Musk was 10 years old, his parents got divorced. While Elon Musk was one of the intellectually sound students at school, he had a difficult time. He has very few friends from the Afrikaner culture. As Elon faced plenty of adversity growing up, he grew up to be a strong believer that adversity is essential to shape up an individual. After completing high school, Elon Musk moved on to pursuing his interest in physics and economics. He spent two years in Queen's University in Canada. After these two years, he transferred to the University of Pennsylvania. At this university, he went on to take up two majors. While pursuing a dual degree might require plenty of work, typically not allowing room for other activities, he ensured to make time for activities apart from his university education. Elon and his fellow classmate bought a 10-bedroom fraternity house that they used as an ad hoc nightclub. Elon Musk graduated with a Bachelor of Science degree in Physics, as well as a Bachelor of Arts degree in Economics from Morton School in Pennsylvania. These two degrees helped Elon in building his career. He is a strong believer of physics being a great framework for his thinking, as it helps explore and understand fundamental truths. It also helped him reason several business ideas and gauge the success of his ideas. Later on, when Musk was 24 years old, he moved to California to pursue his PhD in applied physics at Stanford University. While he started his PhD program with utmost excitement and futuristic goals, he dropped out of this program in two days. The driving factor behind him dropping out was the internet boom in Silicon Valley. Being an entrepreneur by nature, he began to develop great ideas revolving around the birth of the internet. Elon Musk is one of Silicon Valley's most adventurous entrepreneurs, with his two biggest companies, Tesla Motors and SpaceX, skyrocketing in value over the last several years as he aims to transform the transportation industry. Elon Musk is one of Silicon Valley's most adventurous entrepreneurs. His two biggest companies, Tesla Motors and SpaceX, have skyrocketed in value over the last several years. Tesla Motors is a leading electric car company, and SpaceX is a private space exploration company. Musk aims to transform the transportation industry by making electric cars more affordable and accessible, and by developing reusable rockets that can make space travel more affordable. He is also working on a number of other ambitious projects, including a high-speed transportation system called the Hyperloop and a brain-computer interface called Neuralink. Musk is a controversial figure, but there is no doubt that he is a visionary entrepreneur. He has a bold vision for the future, and he is not afraid to take risks to achieve his goals. He's now worth $16.6 .6 billion, but getting to that net worth was far from an overnight success story. Below are some of the most resourceful ways in which he made money before becoming a famous billionaire. It was a space-themed game called Blaster, 
where the objective was to destroy an alien ship filled with weapons of mass destruction. Musk had been interested in computers from an early age and taught himself programming starting at nine years old. He once took a job as a boiler room cleaner at a lumber mill. After leaving South Africa in 1988, Musk spent time working a series of odd jobs around Canada. According to Ashley Vance's biography on him, Musk first tended vegetables and shoveled out grain bins at a cousin's farm in Waldeck, and then learned how to cut logs with a chainsaw in Vancouver. After a visit to the unemployment office, he inquired about the job with the best wage, which turned out to be a gate cleaning the boiler room of a lumber mill. For $18 an hour, a great wage in 1989, the grueling work involved wearing a hazmat suit, crawling through small spaces, and shoveling residue in extremely high temperature conditions, according to Musk. He landed an internship with the Bank of Nova Scotia by cold calling a top executive to meet for lunch. After reuniting with his brother Kimball in Canada, the two determined brothers researched business people that they wanted to meet and took turns making cold calls to ask if they could have lunch. One such businessman was Peter Nicholson, a top executive at the Bank of Nova Scotia who was fascinated by the boys' initiative. Upon meeting them, he was so impressed with the lawn, the geekier of the two brothers, that he became his mentor and offered him a summer internship at the bank for $14 an hour. To earn extra cash, Musk sold computer parts and full PCs out of his dorm room. While at Queen's University in Ontario, Musk had a profitable side hustle for a time. He sold entire computers, as well as various hardware parts, from the comfort of his dorm room. He would build whatever suited the needs of fellow students, like a tricked-out gaming computer or a simple word processor, for example. As Musk described, if their computer didn't boot properly or had a virus, I'd fix it. I could pretty much solve any problem. Not bad for the guy who would eventually become the inspiration for Tony Stark in Iron Man. He paid for rent in college by converting his house into a nightclub. After transferring to the University of Pennsylvania in 1992, Musk quickly put his entrepreneurial instincts to good use. He and a friend moved into a 10-bedroom frat house off campus for relatively cheap. During the week, the two of them would study, but on weekends, they turned the place into a full-out, unlicensed speakeasy, according to his roommate A.D. Oresi. This included covering the windows with black trash bags and the walls with bright paint. Musk, who was never big on drinking except for the occasional vodka and Diet Coke, would stay sober for these events to keep things under control. He would run the parties, and as he explained, I was paying my own way through college and could make an entire month's rent in one night. Once, his mother May even worked the door at one of the big parties. In 1995, Musk quit graduate school at Stanford University to co-found an internet startup. Despite getting accepted to a Stanford PhD program, Musk forwent the tuition costs when he decided after two days that the internet had far greater promise to change society. He immediately dropped out and teamed up with his brother Kimball and started Zip2, a company that provided maps and directories to online newspapers. To start the venture, they used $28,000 out of their father's bank account. He first became a millionaire four years later when he and his brother sold Zip2. It was bought by early PC company Compaq in 1999, who had become a leading supplier of PC systems until it was overtaken and bought out by HP in 2002. The Zip2 deal amounted to $307 million. Musk's share of the proceeds was a tidy sum of $22 million. Musk scored a net return of over $165 million after his financial services company, X.com, merged with PayPal, which was bought by eBay. Soon after the sale of Zip2, Musk invested $12 million of his own money into co-founding X.com, which he envisioned as the future of online banking. In early 2000, X.com emerged with its rival Confinity, and the company was renamed PayPal. As the majority shareholder, Musk was ousted as CEO amid protracted boardroom squabbling. PayPal then accepted eBay's offer to buy in July 2002, against Musk's advice. 
After the $1.5 billion deal finally went through, he came away with $180 million after taxes. Let us know your opinion in the comment section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more interesting videos. Stay safe, and we will be back soon with another video.